to Google, I am an idiot like Bobby Castro, show me how to invest in real estate. Boom! Okay, guys, I'm sharing because I truly care. I'm not going to name the deal. If you're a real estate investor, you're looking to maybe one day invest in real estate, pay attention. Uh, this is a deal that we're in the conversation. We're trying to build a relationship, but I'm sharing, man, because that's what I promised you I was going to do, man. I don't charge for this. You shouldn't be paying for this. You should be saving, stack and rack. So check it out. It's only going to be a few minutes. And if you do like what I have and you are a real estate investor, if you know a real estate investor, share the damn theme, man. Sharon is Karen. This deal we're looking at, man, we're looking to purchase this possibly at $101,000 a door. It's 350 plus units. Right now, it's a 2010 vintage. That's the year it was built. If we would go ahead and rebuild this on that land, it's gonna cost us 25% more to build it. So it check, it, the check is checked off because below replacement cost is 25% cheaper now if I buy it versus if I had to build it. So that's awesome. Right now, the thir there's 13% the rents right now are 13% are, are, are less than everybody on the block. And more so, this is one of the newer vintage. So it's really interesting. The average rent is $900. The break even of occupancy to stay in business, if the crap hits the fan, the world comes to the end, what do I have to maintain as occupancy to still pay the bills, pay my debt, still stay in business? What is a minimum, Bobby? On this deal, 69%, if you take away anything from this video, man, learn about how to stress, how to stay in business, what is my minimum bare occupancy I need to always have if things blow up? Very important, right now this deal is 96% occupied because the rents are so low, it's a lazy management group, lazy owner, it's a developer who originally built this, and they're 96%. So right now, they're paying on the average of $900. Now, they're making right now that average household income $50,000 a month. If you do my underwriting, I always say three times income, and how you do that again, you take the 50,000, they're making on the average $50,000 a year, take the 50,000 divided by 12 months, you'll get 4,166, divide that by three, three times income, they can afford the very, very max $1,388 a month. Currently right now, they're paying 900 a month, Everybody on the block is charging 13% more than $900 a month. At the end of the day, we can increase our rents by $400, $400 doing nothing. It's a 2010 vintage. So that all checks off. And, and, and the, weak, the weakness on this deal, it's a lazy owner and all he or she or they want to have is 100% of occupancy and that's why the rents are so low. So there is some value there, a lot of value there and more so we don't have to stress these families because they can more than afford it. What is a hedge, Bobby? What's gonna happen if things don't go good? These workforce houses in some of these areas is not fast growth, 100%, you gotta be on high alert. Well, you gotta stress that 69%, man. In 2009, it never got even close to 69%. So I feel good there. You wanna make sure those covenants are on your loan. You don't fall victim to it. You can negotiate covenants within your loan agreements. Many people ignore this. This is where you can have a capital call or event or be really stressed because something didn't, something is not there, whether your occupancy or whatever the case may be. Check those covenants. I cannot stress enough. You can negotiate the covenants. I don't care who the lender is. Long term, we plan on holding this for 10 years. So we're gonna go up and down as the world behaves, but in long term, you create wealth. Don't think about tomorrow, don't think about next year, don't think about selling next year. And we're gonna get very long term, cheap, cheap, cheap debt today. So that's a hedge that we're playing for. This is just a deal that we're looking at. It's a deal that has passed a few filters so far. And now it's starting to get some serious conversations. I'm not gonna say where it's located, the state or city or the name of the deal, because I have a relationship. And as you know, man, I'm all about relationships. I leverage relationships, but I'm leveraging you right now to go ahead and do what I did in the past. I created $300 million. I'm still creating wealth. No one taught me this. No one paid, no, I didn't pay for this. I didn't have a bunch of mentors. Oh, show me, show me. There's no trick. There's no sauce. The sauce is you, man. You go out and get it. You're getting this stuff free from me. And there's a lot of other people giving it free on the internet. Go to the Google. I am an idiot like Bobby Castro. Show me how to invest in real estate. Boom! Sharon is Karen.